Hey everybody, I am here with Miss Camilla Irfano, Mr. Isaac Martin, and we're gonna be doing um, some training videos for you guys at home for each individual class today. So the way that this is gonna work is before each section, we're gonna tell you guys exactly what kind of equipment that you need. All you're gonna need is a small item from your house today and a chair today. And during each section, we're going to explain exactly how to get set up on that. So these are going to be your guys' trainers today. You guys are gonna to listen to Mr. Martin on the workouts, and then you guys are gonna follow on Miss Irfano on all of these workouts. We are excited to get started. Before we get started, one of the things that we wanna talk about is our life skill. Um, life skill that we wanted to do today was positive attitude, especially in the kind of in the midst of everything that's going on. Sometimes you can't control what's happening around you, but you can control how you respond to it. Um, us as are the leaders in venture martial arts and the black belts of venture martial arts. We wanted to respond to this by still promoting a positive message to you guys, even though it's a little different than doing it in person. It is a way that we are doing it um, via video and connecting with you guys as well. Another thing, if you guys have not set up your one-on-one -on -one lessons with your instructors, make sure you guys go through, set up your one-on-one -on -one lessons. There's a video in the app and we're gonna be sending out a lot of links to be able to do that here in the near future. We'd love to see and talk to all of you guys one-on-one -on -one today. First thing we're gonna do is a chair in an open space workout. So you guys are gonna actually grab a chair and then you're gonna put it in an open space where you can use it, okay? All right, so Camilla, if you could go grab a chair. All right, now before we use the chair, we're actually gonna get warmed up and then go to the chair a little bit later. Just keep the chair next to you so you can start using it once we're done warming up, okay? All right, first thing that we're gonna start with, she's gonna start in the middle. Okay, we're gonna start to get our bodies warmed up, so she's gonna start by jogging in place. Okay, she's gonna start nice and slow, and we're gonna pick up the pace, we're gonna go faster and slower as we do this. First thing, just starting off nice and easy, and then as we go on, I wanna see if you guys can keep up the same pace as Miss Camilla, okay? Start to go a little faster. Okay, when she's going a little faster, she's not picking her knees up crazy high. All she's worried about is the speed, picking it up just a little bit at a time. A little faster. Okay, now go as fast as you can, go. Good, same thing, not worrying about getting your knees up, just going as fast as you can in place, and slower. Okay, now slow as you can, one knee up at a time, super slow, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, fast as you can, go. All right, let's see if you guys at home can keep up with this here fine. Faster, 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 and slower. Slower, one foot at a time. Slow, slow, and faster, go. Fast speed. Okay, now we're gonna keep this going for a little bit. Let's see if you guys can keep up the speed the whole time. Faster, faster, faster. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going, and freeze. Okay, now the next thing, we're gonna start going into some of our stances. Okay, when we're doing these stances, we are gonna do something called stance checks. So we're gonna start with our feet together, and then we're gonna pop them apart in this stance, okay? So first thing, she'll start with her feet together, Okay, now this is gonna be kind of like the jumping jack motion, except when your feet go apart, you're gonna end in a stance every time, okay? So she's gonna pop her feet apart into a middle stance, go. Okay, now every time we do a stance, we're looking at some details we talked about in the last couple of videos. First detail I'm gonna look at is making sure that your knees are bent over your toes, and the next thing is that your back is straight and your hands are up, okay? Now we're gonna move a little bit faster in these stances. Next part, she's gonna put it back together. Now she's gonna hop out to a different stance. Let's go right leg in front, okay? She's gonna hop out right front stance, and then the same details we talked about last videos, Knees bent over your toes until you can't see them, and then your back leg is straight. Okay, so pop your feet back together. Other side, left front stance, go. Good, together, middle stance, go. Good, together, right front stance, go. Good, let's see if you guys can keep up with this here final. Together, left front stance, go. Together, right front stance, go. Together, middle stance. Together, right front stance. Together, middle stance. Together, left front stance. Nice, all right, back to attention. Okay, now we're gonna add our back stance onto that. So make sure you guys are really paying attention to which leg she puts in front and which leg she puts behind, okay? All right, starting with her left leg going back, just like we talked about in the last couple of videos, she's gonna hop back into her back stance and make sure that her heels are lined up in a straight line, okay? And then she's also gonna make sure her back is straight and her hands are up in front of her, okay? Starting with her feet together, left leg's gonna go back, jump back, back stance, left leg behind, heels lined up, back straight, hands are up. Now feet together, now we're gonna add our back stances into our stance jacks. So she's gonna start with her feet together. Okay, she's gonna go middle stance. Okay, together, right front stance. Together, left front stance. Together, right back stance. Make sure right leg goes behind. Together, left back stance. Together, middle stance. Together, left back stance. Together. Ah, make sure that left leg goes behind. See how I tricked Miss Camilla? Let's see if I didn't trick you guys at home. Ready, together, right back stance. Together, left back stance. Together, middle stance. Together, right front stance. Ready, and relax. 
All right, now we're going into our stance um, jacks, and then we're also going to add kicks onto it. So if she goes to a middle stance, she's going to add a side kick. If she goes into front stance, she's going to add back leg front kick. If she goes into back stance, she's going to add back leg round kick, okay? All right, so let's explain these kicks as we're doing the stances too. So she's going to go together, middle stance, and then she'll pick the leg to do side kick. And then she's going to go together, right front stance, and she'll pick the leg to do front kick. And then together, right back stance, her back leg will do a round kick. Together. Now we're going to start to move a little bit faster, so let's see if you guys can keep up with Camilla at home, okay? All right, together, middle stance. Together, right front stance. Together, right back stance. Together, left back stance. Together, middle stance. Together, right front stance. Oh, other way. You gotta make sure your right leg goes in front on that one. There you go. Okay, together, left front stance. Together, right back stance. Together, left back stance. Nice. Okay, add a pinch and go try it out. Okay, that's gonna be the end of our warm up, okay? All right, everybody, for this next section, all you're gonna need is you're just gonna need a kind of an open space on the floor, all right? So first part of this is we're just gonna get our arms warmed up. We're gonna be doing push-ups. So as I count out these push-ups, all right, you guys are gonna see if you can stick with Miss Irfano doing all of these push-ups, okay? So go ahead and jump down in regular push-up position. Now, when you do this, make sure your hands are forward, make sure your feet are straight. Now, we are going to do a set of five regular push-ups, okay? So ready, and everybody go down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Four, sir. And five, sir. Five, sir. Excellent. Just like that. Now, go and relax, Camilla, really quick. Next part of this, we're going to make this a little harder. So you're going to have to do a full circle of push-ups before you rest. So you're going to do a little bit of a pop in every push-up, and you're just going to move it slightly to the side. All right? So Camilla is going to help you guys out with that. This one's going to be a little bit harder, so I think that this is going to be a challenge for even the highest level students. Okay? So she's going to go all the way down. Then she's going to go push-up, jump to the side just a little bit. Now push-up, jump to the side. She's going to get in a full circle. Then push-up, jump to the side. Push up, jump to the side. Push up, jump to the side. You're already halfway through. Come on, push up, jump to the side. Push up, jump to the side. Come on, Camilla. You got like three more push ups. Just like that. And one more, and then relax. There. So that's going to be our circle push up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat all of that one more time. Five regular push ups, and then a full circle. You guys are going to follow along. Let's see if you can do it just like Camilla. All right? Everybody shake your arms out a little bit. All right, get down in that regular push-up position. Fingers forward, pop your toes backwards. Excellent, just like that. Ready, and five. Everybody go one. One, sir. Then go two. Two, sir. Then go three. Three, sir. Now go four. Four, sir. Now go five. Five, sir. Excellent, now relax for a second. Now we're gonna do that circle. Let's see if we can do it non-stop together, okay? So ready, get down in your regular push-up. We're gonna do a giant circle. Ready, set, and go all the way. Ready? All the way in a circle. Come on, Camilla, let's go. You got it. I want to see you guys use just as much perseverance at home as Camilla is doing doing these push-ups. She is halfway done. Only another half a circle to go, Camilla. Come on, you can do it. You just got to pop. You got one more push-up, one more push-up, and you're done. Excellent. Now you guys go and shake your arms out. All right, everybody, our next part of this is going to be going from our upper body to our core. We are going to do T-Rex V-Up Crunches. Reason these are called T-Rex V-Up Crunches is my elbow is in by my side. So it looks just like if you practice to be a T-Rex walking around your house, okay? So now you're going to have elbows in by your side. You're going to have your legs straight. Miss Camilla is going to help us out. We are going to do five of these in the center and five of these on each side. Your goal, though, is to keep control the whole time where your legs are straight the whole time, your back is straight the whole time, and these hands come up and touch your knees, okay? So ready, and go one, just like that. Now go two, now go three. Try to get those legs straight, toys pointed, four. Now go five, excellent, now go ahead and relax like that. Now you're gonna move over to your side this way. Now the goal here is to just use your hand for support to where now your legs are gonna be out by your side, you're gonna point your toes. This hand is gonna be behind your head. I'm gonna be going down. Now I'm gonna come up, controlled, touch. Then down, then up, controlled, touch. That way, okay? So ready? Camille's gonna do five. You guys can do five with us at home. Ready? Get set, and go one, two, 
three, four, five. There, now move your head and feet that way. You're gonna do your other side. Good, so other side, there we go. Now, once you're doing your other side, same thing, get those legs straight, don't let those knees touch, okay? Ready, set, and go one. You got it, Camilla, don't let those feet come apart, go two. Come on, don't let those feet go apart, go three. Now go four, and go five. Just like that, that was awesome, okay. Now we're gonna do one more thing that's gonna help our core. We are going to do plank landing gear, okay? So what basically means is Miss Camilla, she's gonna go into push a position like this, holding her body nice and straight to where there's gonna be nothing, okay? No bend in her back. Now she's gonna move one hand up, she's gonna touch her shoulder. Her goal though is to keep her shoulders perfectly flat, okay? Do not let her shoulders turn this way or turn this way. So she's gonna pop her hand up, there we go. Now she's gonna go other side. And she's not gonna move at all. She's not even gonna make a face. There we go. Now she's gonna do 10 of those. So let's count out 10 together, okay? Everybody get in that position. Ready, pick up, go one. Now go two. Now go three. Now go four. Now this one's gonna be slow. So go five, slow. Now go six. Now go seven. Now go eight, nine, ten. Really fast, eight, nine, ten. There we go, all right, now everybody go and relax. All right, we're gonna move on to the next part of our workout. All right, next we are gonna do our stances and we're gonna add some hand techniques to it. We're also gonna be do, sit, doing stances um, moving, okay? For the, when we do stances moving, you guys are gonna need an item that you can hold above your head. Um, in this situation, we are gonna use a Cheez-Its box. Um, you guys can use something that you guys have at home that's safe and that won't break if you guys drop it, okay? All right, so starting with our stances first, adding our hand techniques. So she's gonna hop out to a middle stance. Okay, and then what she's gonna do is she's gonna stay low in this stance. Your goal the whole time is to make sure that you're staying low in your stance. Okay, so let's go over the stances before we add the hand techniques to it. So she's gonna slide both feet together and she's gonna stay really low. Then when she steps apart, she's gonna go back into her middle stance on one side. Okay, that's gonna be going to the left. Now she's gonna go to the right. Feet go together and they go apart, back into her middle stance on the other side. Okay, so she's gonna go together, apart, left side, together, apart, right side. Together, apart, left side. Now the whole point here is to make sure that your head stays in the same level. So she goes together, her head's in the same level, and then apart, her head's in the same level on that side. Together, head's on the same level, apart, head's on the same level on the other side, okay? Now we're gonna start adding the hand techniques to it. So she's gonna start with two punches, okay? She's gonna go punch, punch, and then together, when she goes apart, she's gonna go back to her middle stance, punch, punch. Okay, so we're adding a little bit more motion to our to our stances, okay? So she's gonna aim her right hand out, punch, punch, together apart, punch, punch. Other side, together apart, punch, punch. Other side, together apart, punch, punch. Okay, now we're gonna count these out. So every time you go together apart, punch, punch, together apart, punch, punch, that's gonna be one, okay? All right, start on that side for me, Camille. Okay, so she's gonna aim, ready, go one. There you go, nice, you right, reset. Ready, go, two. There you go, now, ready, go, three. Okay, now let's see you count out each one that we do, okay? I wanna see if you guys at home can be louder than Miss Camilla and also stay lower in that stance, ready? Go, four. Four, sir. Ready, go, five. Five, sir. Go, try not to come up and down in that stance, stay really low, ready, go, six. Six, sir. There you go, ready, go, seven. Seven, sir. Nice, ready, go, eight. So it's coming up just a little bit. Let's see if you can stay really low. Ready, go, nine. There we go. Nine, sir. Okay, last one, ready, go, 10. 10, sir. Okay, now, added our item to our stances, so we're gonna keep working on that middle stance, and we're gonna keep working on these leg muscles when we're doing that stance. And our goal here, remember, stay really low on that stance, okay? So she's gonna hold on to the box. She's gonna put this above her head. She's gonna hold it up super high. Jump into her stance. Okay, now I'm gonna say left side. If I say left side, she's gonna stay low, together apart, left side. If I say right side, together apart to the right side. Okay, so let's see that item above your head. Stay really low in that stance. Okay, ready, go left side. Go ahead, stay really low. You came up just a little bit, see if you can drop that stance even lower. Ready, go right side. Nice, there we go, ready, go left side. Right side, left side. Hold it, right side. We're gonna count out five more, are you ready? Sure. All right, ready, go one. One, sir. Good, back to the other side. There we go, nice, ready, go, two. Two, sir. There you go, ready, go, three. Three, sir. Okay, now hold it, you're almost done. Go even lower for the last couple ones. There we go, ready, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, ready, go, four. Four, sir. There you go, last one, ready, go, five. Five, sir. Nice, that was awesome, I'll take the item. 
Great job. All right, now set to attention, go straight up. Okay, now next we're gonna switch to our front stances. Okay, when you guys do your front stances, we're gonna be moving forward and we're also gonna be moving backward on the line, okay? So first she's gonna step out with her right leg in front. Okay, when you guys do these stances, your goal here, same thing, just like with the middle stance, stay low and try not to come up and down in your stance. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna keep her hands up, she's gonna take her back leg, she's gonna slide her feet in, and then she's gonna step out with her other leg in the front stance. Okay, we're gonna do two going forward, then two going back. So she's gonna go together, yep, and then apart, forward, and then she's gonna use the other leg to come forward one more time. Together, apart, forward. Now she's gonna go backward. So she's gonna go back, apart, and then one more time. Back, apart. So every time we go forward and back, that's gonna be one. We're gonna do five of these, okay? So she's gonna go together, apart, together, apart, okay, now back, together, apart, Together, apart, that's one. So you gotta count out, there you go, ready, go, two. Okay, stay low. Two sets. Nice, ready, go, three. And make sure a couple things are happening here. Freeze for me, Mr. Bell. Okay, on your front stances, okay, you want front knees bent over your toes, but make sure every time you sit down in your stance, your back heel does not lift off the ground, okay? All right, keep going. Two sets. Good. That was three. Oh, okay, let's go four. Four, seven. Okay, last one. I want to see if you guys can have stronger stances than Miss Camille on this last one, okay? Try to keep that heel planted on the ground. Ready to go five. Five, sir. Right, sorry, add attention tray up. Okay, we're going to do one more drill with our front stances. She's going to take the, the object, she's going to hold it above her head. Okay, for this one, you are going to switch your feet. So you will be changing levels for this one. But your goal here, every time you go into your stance, is to land in a solid stance, back heel planted on the ground, and the knees bent over your toes so you can't see them, okay? And the object's going to stay above your head the whole time. Okay, every time you switch one side and then do the other side, that's going to be one, we're going to do five. Okay, so she's going to start in a solid stance. Okay, ready? Switch. Switch. One, so you're gonna count out as we go on. Okay, ready, go, switch, switch. Two, sir. There you go, switch, switch. Three, sir. Switch, switch. Four, sir. Even lower, hold it, switch, hold it. Now check your back leg, make sure your heel's on the ground. Ready, switch. Five, five, sir. Four, that was four. There you go, switch, switch. Five, sir. All right, sorry, I'll take the object. All right, snap to attention, go tray up. Okay, and that's gonna be in the end of our stances part, okay? All right, um, next part that we're gonna work on is we're gonna be working on some stretching. So we're gonna go back to our chair for a second. We're gonna work on stretches for your front kick, your side kick, and your roundhouse kicks as well. So, first stretch that we're gonna do is Miss Camilla, she's gonna grab the back of her chair this way. Now with this stretch, it's important that we are working on body position, pivoting position, so we're gonna talk about a couple different details here. So first thing is, she's gonna pull her knee up, she's gonna try to pull her knee up to her chest. Now you will notice how her foot position is. It is straight, her toes are pulled back. This way, if she did it kick out in front, so go ahead and kick out in front for me, you'll see that she's kicking and holding with the ball of her foot. So go ahead and re-chamber. That's what we wanna set up here. Next thing is, is her pivot is at a 45 degree angle, which allows her hips to go forward. So pivot a little bit more towards me. There we go, excellent. Now she's gonna keep her body straight up and down, her eyes forward, and her chin up. This is something that's very important when you're doing these stretches or when you're doing a front kick, okay? So now that we've done this side, go ahead and pick up your other side. Same thing, pivot your bottom foot, try to get it on more of a 45. There, turn this way, excellent. Now pick your knee up, try to pull your knee in. You want your knee to try to touch your chest. See if you can get it all the way in. Don't neglect your foot position. Make sure that your foot is pointed forward and your toes are pulled backwards. Also, you wanna keep your eyes straight forward this way to where you keep your focus and keep good body position. Even though you are holding on to a chair for balance, try not to let your body lean too far backwards. Try to keep your body nice and straight on this one. Now that we've done both sides with our front kick, we are gonna move on, we're gonna work on our round kick. So it's gonna be very similar. You're gonna be holding the chair with one hand. You're gonna take this bottom foot. This time you're gonna point straight towards. So if you look at this bottom foot here, your foot's gonna point straight towards your chair. You're gonna pull your knee directly out in front of you. Now, if you notice a couple things here, right? Camilla's body is in a straight line from her knee to her bottom foot to her head. There is nothing out of line or out of place here. She's now gonna take this hand and grab as high up as she can. If you're super flexible, she's gonna grab her knee, 
she's gonna pull her knee into where that knee gets in a nice straight line and then she's keeping her focus looking forward. Now, you wanna make sure that your knee is not pointed slightly in front of your body because when you do execute your round kick and you do throw that kick, you wanna make sure you're kicking on a straight line here. So if Camilla throws a kick here, then she wants to make sure everything is straight. Then go and reach into your foot. Now we're gonna do our other side. So let's go ahead and switch feet. Sure. Other side, point those toes back towards the chair, your bottom toes, hold this knee up. If you're not quite as flexible, you're gonna be ending up grabbing on your lower part of your foot or a little bit higher up on your shin, depending on your flexibility level. Now, everything again should be in a perfectly straight line. There should be nothing on this side and nothing on that side. If you guys pull over here to take a look, you guys are gonna see from my perspective exactly what it looks like in a straight line. Now, she's gonna pull that knee all the way up to where she gets it to a straight up position, okay? So all the way up, hold, 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 pull it a little harder. Pull it a little higher, a little bit higher, and relax right there. All right, now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a stretch for our side kick. So she's gonna grab the chair, same thing. She's gonna pull her knee up this time. Now, pulling her knee up, she's gonna pull her knee over to the side. Her goal is gonna be to get this knee to touch her back shoulder. So she's gonna keep her body straight. She's gonna pick up her foot. And if she does this really well, she should have a very flat plane here to where you can even set something on top, right? So you can either grab your knee, or if you're really good, you can kind of grab your heel. For today, I'm gonna have you grab your knee. There we go. Then you're gonna pull in and you're gonna try to touch your chest in a perfect psychic chambering position. So hold your psychic up like this. Now, watch your bottom foot. Make sure that it stays perfectly in line, right? Now, Remember, you wanna make sure that your upper body is in a position that you can actually kick in. Don't lean too far. The chair is there to help your body position as you stretch. You don't want to get to the point to where you're leaning your head down here. You always wanna keep your head up. Remember, from this position, you should be able to kick from there. So if Camille throws a side kick from here, she should be able to throw a side kick and then pull it back from here, okay? Now, once you pull this in and you get a nice stretch in your hip, we're gonna switch our feet. Go and switch your feet, other side. Same thing, she's going to pivot her bottom foot, she's gonna pull her knee up, then she's gonna pull it in this way, she's gonna have a very nice straight line here, pulling her knee and trying to get her knee to touch her back shoulder. But she's gonna keep a body position to where she should not have to alter her body position in order to kick here. So holding, looking straight forward, holding, looking straight forward, holding, looking straight forward, and then at the end of this, what I want you to do is go ahead and throw a kick, see if you can throw that kick and see how well you can do it, then pull back. Make sure that you don't have to alter your body position too much to throw your kick. Make sure you're perfectly in line. All right, now next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit more active stretching. So this time you are gonna put both hands on the chair. When you put both hands on the chair, make sure your upper body is as uh, straight up and down as possible. Your bottom foot is pivoting. Now you're gonna swing that base leg all the way up to a side kick, then all the way back. Start out low. So start out trying to hit my hand here, then go a little higher, then go a little higher, then go a little higher, and then make sure when you're doing this though, you're not going out to this side or this side. So we're gonna do 10 of those together. So ready, go one, a little lower, now go two, now a little higher, now go three, now go four, now go five, now go six, seven, now you should be swinging as high as you possibly can, go eight, nine, and tame. Now switch your sides, same thing on the other side. Watch your pivot foot, pick your other foot up, go one, nice and low, then go two, a little bit higher, three, a little bit higher, four, a little bit higher, five, a little bit higher, now as high as you possibly can go, go six, now go seven, now go eight, and go nine, last one's gotta be straight up, go 10. There, just like that, all right, now go ahead and relax. Next stretches that we're gonna do is gonna be a little bit simpler. All right, so Camilla, go and jump right here. Sure. We're gonna put our feet apart just like this. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of cross my hands this way, and I'm gonna lean down here. Now, I'm gonna try to lean nice and easy to where I stretch my back legs. If you want to, you can also grab your ankles if it helps you stay um, upright. Make sure your knees, though, are nice and straight on both sides. Don't get to the position here grabbing your knees. Make sure your legs are nice and straight. 
Now, with this, all right, Camilla's gonna reach her hands all the way up in the air. There, now she's gonna reach all the way over. She's gonna grab her left side, holding her left foot. Hold nice and easy. Now she's gonna go all the way up in the air again. She's gonna reach over, she's gonna grab her right foot. Now you can hold these positions for um, even over a minute if you would like to and kind of pause the video. We're just gonna kind of run through this stretching a little bit quicker today, okay? Now after that, she's going to put her hands on the ground. She's gonna go down in middle splits as far as she can go. Now you're gonna hold, if this is as far as you go, hold there and just continue to hold it. Now, if you can go further down, go all the way down. Now, this is gonna be the next stretch that we're gonna hold. You're gonna hold here. Now, we're gonna rotate on our side. Now, in order to do this, she's gonna come up a little bit, then she's gonna turn over to her right side. Now, she's gonna put her, or her left side, my bad. Her left side's gonna go all the way out this way, and then she's gonna push all the way down. The idea here is you need to make sure that one foot is in line with your other foot. If you are down in full splits, which I know a lot of the students watching are, you guys are gonna reach over and you're gonna try to grab your back foot. This is gonna be another challenge for you. If you are not, and let's say you're up here, and this is as far as you guys can go, just do this, right? Just get here. Then if you can inch out a little more, get there. Then if you, when you get your hands to the ground, get your hands to the ground. Then you can start to kind of pick up your foot. You can start to kind of pop down a little bit more in order to um, intensify your stretch. But if you're here, this is okay, all right? Now she's gonna come up. She's gonna rotate over to her other side. Now on the other side, the exact same thing. She's gonna try to keep everything in line, making sure her front foot is in line with her back foot. Holding, pushing her hips down towards the floor, trying to keep everything in a nice straight line. Even this foot, we're gonna move it this way just a little bit. There we go, good. So everything is in a nice straight line. Just like this. Hold, hold, hold. If you are in full splits, you're gonna reach back and you're gonna grab this back foot. There we go. It's probably not gonna feel very good, but we're, we're gonna get there. Hold. Now back down in the center. Perfect. Now last stretch we're gonna do is butterfly stretch. So you're gonna pull those feet in. You're gonna pop bottoms of your feet touch. Just like this, pull your feet in as tight as they can. Push your knees down towards the floor. Take your nose, put it on your toes. Hold, 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 hold. Just like that. And go and stand up, shake your legs out. Perfect, so that is our stretching portion of today's class. For all of our second degree black belts, we're gonna do a special training section on your guys' form um, to help you guys get a little bit better at home. So, hair helping us out, we have Mr. Isaac Martin, um, which is going to be um, helping us out. Mr. Martin is third degree black belt, multiple national champion in forms, so we're gonna have him help us with our forms today. All right, Mr. Martin, face front, go tree Come in, Jumbi. Second degree black belt four. Now, first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna be working on the first two lines in depth today. So as a second degree black belt, you will obviously have all of the basics in line. You have all of your blocks in place. Now what you're working on is you're working on how do I get better as a second degree black belt. Now, Mr. Martin, this is what's gonna happen first is we're gonna be talking about the basic movements in line one and line two, but we're gonna also talk about the fine details there too. So as he goes through move by move, he's gonna step out, he's gonna turn over his shoulder, reverse side kick. Now when he does this, make sure he re-chambers so he can land his hand foot at the exact same time. One of the things and the mistakes I see on second degrees is they fall forward on this point in time. So if you notice, his weight is shifted backwards. All right, I want you guys to see it from um, this next part, okay? So Mr. Martin, he is going to turn over his shoulder. The key in this is his rechamber. As he rechambers his foot, he keeps his weight backwards so he lands in a good back stance and not a forward leaning back stance. He should have his weight shifted backwards. Now, as he does his next hand techniques, his weight is gonna shift backwards again. Now, next technique. Excellent turn, next technique. Now, when you do this, this is another mistake that I see, and I want you guys to work on it, is notice how far Mr. Martin's shoulders turn as he throws his kick. So, let's go back really fast to your jump, uh, to your nice and low walk here. 
Now, when he does his jump front kick, do your jump front kick. Watch his shoulders turn, and where he throws his kick, he is going to be facing me directly as he throws his kick over my hand. So his shoulders face me completely. That allows his foot to go straight up in the air, and as a second degree, you need to be conscious of these things. Okay? Now, next move. Next move. Next move. Next move. Next move. Next move. Excellent. So all of that is pretty straightforward. Then next move, ending the line. What we're going to talk about now is your rhythm and hand and foot timing. So we're going to go back to that. Given those two details of shoulder position, because that's what our focus is going to be on our kicks today, is going to be body position and shoulder position. I want you guys to pay attention to the hand and foot timing and the rhythm moving through your form. So Mr. Mark, go and do it full speed. Yes, sir. Notice how his hand and foot lands at the same time and how he plugs those moves together in order to create a great rhythm for his form. So he's going to turn, look. There, so that should be about the speed of line number one. Every body type and everybody's gonna do that a little bit different, so um, just work with it. Film yourself if you have a phone um, at home and then watch yourself do it, okay? Now we're gonna work on line number two. So you're starting in this position here. You're turning. One of the things that you should do is your focus. When you're going through a form, your eyes from straight forward should shift here and it should be very direct. It should not be like this to where I'm like, Right, it should be here, I turn, everybody clearly knows I'm gonna move in that direction. So he turns, looks, now he's gonna circle, and step kick. Now when he does this, one of the things that you'll notice is how smooth he comes out of that. That's gonna be because he maintains balance through his kick. People that are not very good at jump kicks, they are not able to maintain their shoulder position and their focus in the air. So let's go back all the way through to here. Start here, sir. Now when he does this, I want you guys to notice how straight his body is in the air and his shoulders moving forward. That's how he's able to kick and land so effortlessly and he makes it look easy. So he's gonna step, jump, kick. Through, land, block, punch, punch. Up to elbow. Now this next one is gonna be very important as well because with that back leg kicking, his shoulder position is gonna become even more important this time. So he's gonna pick that back foot up. He's gonna go front kick round. He keeps his shoulders up the entire time. Do it one more time. If you try to shift your body and you try to drop your shoulders backwards like this as you do your round kick too much, what's gonna happen is it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your hip and it's gonna make it very difficult to maintain balance versus keeping your shoulders straight up. And from here, all you're doing is you're turning your shoulders sideways here. So one more time, front kick round kick. Then land and finish off, finish the line up. There, front kick. Excellent, so you'll notice body position the entire time. Now let's see that line full speed so you guys can start to match your rhythm with Mr. Martin's rhythm. Is our um, that's our curriculum for second degrees. All right, we will give you guys a little more curriculum starting early next week.